Really good place to come grind. We're trying to get back into it, man. I honestly thought I wasn't going to come back to Smash tournaments, and yet here I am. I just couldn't stay away. Well, yeah, no, no, me either. But except for this time, instead of being a player, because I'm washed. I'm more washed yeah. than, than... Go, Jomez. Go, Jomez. Oh MSM is in La Mirada, California. So if you go to smash.gg and yeah. search up MSM, Mega Smash Mondays, uh, address, all the information's on there. So go yep. ahead and check it out. It's just over by Knott's Berry Farm, so just past that. Pretty close, yeah. It's, we're right down the, the street. The best thing over there is the food the venue that's nearby. We got a Chick fil A and. True. And the the uh, the, ho the hotel's restaurant is actually really good. In my opinion, better than Chick fil A. Like, oh, yeah, easily no. Easily better than Chick fil A. Cost you a little bit more, but I mean, it's worth the, it's worth what you pay for, so. True. The one thing we don't have nearby us is a Kane's, though. Yeah, but they still probably, support us. Probably gonna be coming soon. I mean, like wherever there's a Chick Fil A, a Canes usually open. Oh, nearby, oh my so. gosh! All right, so three, two-time defending champion, yeah. MSM T3 Dom. Was one hand the one the last two MSMs. We have Marvelous Marco who got clipped about two weeks. Yeah, two weeks yeah. Ago. I saw the F clip, man. I've been. The, I know the chat saw the F clip because they're saying, please don't get clipped again. But I mean, <laughs> that's that's a hard. Bargain. I mean, he's up against the two-time defending champion, as you just said. And this is a character that a lot of people really struggle with, honestly. Ooh, okay. jab reset, but not going to uh, be able to capitalize nothing. any further. That would have been actually exciting. If I think you to. can only do that one time, right? Two. In this game? Two. You get two. two. Okay. Yeah, no, three was the last was three was four. I, I got you there. Like, <laughs> You didn't hit me with that Diddy jank back then. <laughs> but good okay. back throw actually coming from Marco. Marco's really doing it, putting on the percent there. Yeah. We don't know how T3 Dom just wants to keep it simple and just press B, but uh, Marco actually going ahead and doing a really good job of pressing B as well. The idea of who can press B best. That's what I like to see. That shield pressure, though. T3 Dom almost could have taken an early stock if his shield was any smaller. Okay. Marco's shield looking pretty small, but he's got a little bit more time to regenerate here. Oh. I love that. No wow. fear. Both items just oh, disintegrated just in his face. His shield, that's right. When the links are standing still, they can block projectiles with their shield alone. Yeah, no, but he got hit the bow and arrow out. So the, that he could have got hit, but he was like, yeah. no, I know this is going to stop right here. And he's believed. That's crazy. Marco's content to go ahead and stay on this ledge. Oh, oh no, but man. he's not able to get through hit yeah. with that. Ace, that was a questionable like decision, honestly. I feel like he should have just went straight for the ledge and tried to recover because he actually let go of the ledge to let the bomb. Uh, so that way he could try to regain yeah. the invincibility. But, but the he chain didn't. went hit below the stage. Yeah. Ooh, up smash. Just going to do it to him. Marcos don't care. All right. Back to an even spot here. T3 Dom, sh sharking below the platform for a little bit. Ooh, great out of shield option from Marcos. But now he's going to start get Ooh, that's how he gets those combos started. He's already put in the holy water, getting the uppers, the uppers, 95%. Ooh. Okay, T3 Dom at 111% on Marcos already. You can't keep wow. taking those hits and expect to live. Okay. He's got some momentum, some type of a read. Marcos fighting his way back, though, 52%. He's going to have to try his best to not take any damage. Oh, yeah, no, he has to really work hard to get back into this. That shield pressure that T3 Dom keeps putting on him. Yeah, man. I feel like this stage is actually probably, like, pretty good for Richter. Oh, I can see any stage is about pretty good for Richter. Yeah. He goes yeah. ahead and he plays the, the, the neutral on the stage really well by doing such combos! Wow. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was an excellent conversion there off of the projectile right into his up smash. Taking that game one T3 Dom with the Richter. Freaking belt mold. Yeah, really showing uh, the stuff of champions, man. Why why he is who he is, the returning two-time champ. We're going to go to town and city this time. And uh, you'll you all love to see it. I'm excited to go ahead and see that later afterwards. I, I can't wait to see that replay later. Wh which one? The, the one just now? Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. But that's what Dom does. He's the best Richter player, period. You show me another Richter that actually plays like Dom. I, I dare you to try to find it. I don't even know anybody. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't say that there is, but I... I'm not that well versed in who's out there, so I'm sure there's some pretty good Richters out there. But oh, yeah, we'll say this: T3 Dom has been beating a lot of really great players, including Larry Learn in Grand Finals here at an MSM, and this is one of the most stacked regions out there. I mean, personal bias, sure, 
but I, I think a lot of people agree. I'm not, I'm not going to say whether we're the best or not, but we're one of the most track regions out there. Absolutely. We, if, if nothing else, we got the best people to go ahead and produce it. Getting back into this, actually surprising. Marcos is actually starting out like he did in the first game. He started really well with the percent lead, but it's, the question is, can he keep it this time around? I really want to go yeah. ahead and see if he has the improvement. But no, he gets oh hit. Oh my Ooh. god. Dude. It was one hit. He took three massive swings. That chain working out there. Back flipping up there with the, Gets the axe and wow. that's the kill. T3 Dom killing in new ways I've never seen. Yeah, dude, it's really hard for me to even commentate these matches. Great DI from Dom right there. All right. But yeah, it's really hard to commentate the Richter match because I'm seeing it at the highest level and I, I frankly am just like, Dude, I don't, I don't know what this character does. Like, are you kidding? I know, I know he all he does, stuff. he presses he B and stocks explode. Yeah, I, I That's know. what happens. I know that. Literally, T3 Dom continues to go ahead and dominate with everything that he could go ahead and do with it. But, but he gets up there and he's still not dead. 184 percent. Yeah. The jokes aside, I mean, it, it's not just pressing B, right? There, there goes the stock. Marvelous jokes aside, Marvelous. yes, but yeah. no, that, that, that's exactly what, that's exactly what Dom's about. Yeah, I mean, he he presses the B button, but what a character doesn't press the B button, right? I mean, <laughs> it's more than just that. He is conditioning his opponent by placing these projectiles in certain positions, which allows him to get these follow-ups in the air, or the follow-up into the F smash and get these stocks. So really, like, it really doesn't matter how much damage Marvelous Marco puts on him, uh, because Richter's game plan's not gonna change. He's he gonna stay B. back and he's gonna press projectiles. <laughs> oh, try for the snipe there, but great. He went on the ledge there. It made it really hard to do. So he puts the up. He's not dead, though. I thought he was going to die right there. I thought for sure he was going to kill him with it. Oh. He, he puts the holy water on him, but he's not able to get the kill. I thought for a good mash, that back throw actually might have put him in a bad situation. That was the first time he actually made, got it. Oh, nice. He went deep for that kill, and he got it, putting himself ahead of Dom right here on this second game. Yeah. Ever so barely, man. 94% on his stock already. He, he, one good read, he, he's going to lose it. He's looking pretty rough, but Marcus still has the stock advantage. He, if he's able to go get himself at least a little bit more extra credit, oh he God. might be able to go ahead and take this game. We might be going to game three. Ooh, yeah, but he's got 20% extra credit. Yeah, I mean, it like, didn't really look like he was going to get back to the stage at that point. Dom just doing what he does at the ledge. Uh, really covering every angle of approach, every angle that Marco could have taken to safety. Both players moving back and forth, trying to condition the other with their projectile game. Boomerang canceling out cross. Fire going ahead and getting inside. The cross, the axe not able to go in through, so he throws everything that he has at each other. But neither of them able to connect quite yet until T3 Dom gets in one of those. He blocks the holy water, misses with the down air. The percent is really even. It's close. Marco's starting to pull ahead, though. Does he find it? Oh. Not able to find it. He finds oh. the kill. Oh my gosh, making clips of his own. Way to go. Marvelous Marco taking a game off T3 Dom. We're going to game three. Yeah, he really bet it all on that edge guard, but he, he really needed to, so he's able to get that, evening out the set. One, People one. in the chat already saying justice for Marco. They want to see him go ahead and continue, ah, man. Get his clips. Dude, I mean, this is uh, this would certainly be a redemption for Marvelous Marco, having been clipped with the infamous F, <laughs> F Minecraft Alex <laughs> drawing an F on him and then getting that KO. This would be a redemption to knock down the defending champion into losers this early on. It will be incredible so to go and see. Yeah. Let's find out if this epic tale concludes. Moving the back and forth, both players finding it difficult to put into the even percentage at the moment. Ooh, Bomb actually got him out of that. He could have got comboed for worse, but he didn't. Finds the Bomb there, gets two back airs, and is able to go ahead and combo for a little bit more percent. Oh, Richter just moving right out of range. T3 Dom purposely executing his control. This movement back and forth is actually incredible. What's your call on this match? It's too even for me, too close to call. Where's your bets? Dude, I'm not going to put bets on anyone. I want to see the better player win, or at least the better player in this moment. He's uh, it's looking really even, so it's, it'd really be unfair for me to even say. I like the wording of that, the better player in this moment, because it's never like everyone's better than the other. It's just who can work in what situation best. And right now, T3 Dom 
pushing him at the inside of them. He just makes his way, muscles his way through those projectiles. Marvelous Marco trying to get back at the side there. The holy water not able to bust the side, misses the forward tilt. All these things he's just barely missing with. Any one of them could probably kill at the ledge, but he gets the, the second hit of down tilt on him. The axe drops really low, and I'm surprised it's not killed yet. Yeah. And he puts the holy water the other way. 147. Marvelous Marco. Really working hard with that. He's got 75% to work with. Yeah, you can really tell that uh, Marco is super hyper focused right now because, you know, he, it looks like um, Richter's like might be missing a lot of these attacks at the ledge, but it really he's just putting hitboxes out there to put to force Marco to make a decision, right? Exactly, and and like he can, Dom can go ahead and cover two in thir three options possibly. He's got roll, he's got jump, he's got uh, lower jump to get covered probably at least react to it. And he's got jump, uh, and he's got normal get up, all of which are really hard for him to go ahead and work with right now. Marcos has a rough time getting off that ledge, but instead of just that ledge game, he also has to go ahead and worry about how he can go ahead and find his own combo game. Ooh, one nick of the boomerang, he gets the back air afterwards. Gets the uppy, but no kill, the bomb saves him for just a minute longer. Ooh, another bomb oh. into uppy! Wow. wow, marvelous Marco going and taking an explosive first stock of his own. Wow. Absolutely, man. And not at too big of a deficit here either. So. No, he, it's very doable from either player. Yeah, neither player is done by neither stretch of the imagination, though. If Marco keeps playing the way he does, he could potentially take the set from Dom. We'll see, though. Don't want to go ahead and call it too soon. Uh, Dom has many things he can go ahead and pull up with his championship sleeve. Good arrow from that marvelous Marco. Pushing forward with it, getting that bomb. He's moving out to the point where he's actually starting to match the percentage, but he has to be very careful. It's the arrow for it. Throws the bomb. The boomerang, not able to get, gets the grab, more percentage. Good mash out from T3 Dom. Gets the bomb though. Oh, the down air and the forward air. Marvelous Marco's in a terrible situation. Oh, but he oh. reverses the situation. The Uno reverse card. T3 Dom is on his final stock. And he has a chance. Down to his last stock, Marvelous Marco with an opportunity to make that redemption. Last week he was getting effed on, now he's getting potentially knocking the champion into losers. So. I know, it's, it's, it's an incredible story that's unfolding right before us right we'll now. We'll see, we'll see that. Ooh, Yet down air! Happen. I'm surprised how many times he's got hit by the down air. He gets the upbeat, but not able to go ahead and get the kill. T3 Dom has the edge guard now. Those are the opportunities where he usually gets, but no. Marvelous Marco has another opportunity, 150%. He could actually go all the way. But Dom really going ahead and playing absolutely out of his mind. T3 Dom has to can also clutch it out right here. Both players, incredible story. Almost gets the kill, the four tilt. He's off the stage. No, he went all for it, really but it didn't work. Oh my gosh, Marcos almost threw away the game. He has to be careful, he finds it! it. Does he think he takes the set? Marvelous Marco! Taking the defending champ, the audience stands up and claps for the command! Good stuff.